Hi, I'm Shridhar Ayer. I'm an IEEE member with 14 years of academic research experience. I received the Young Scientist Award from DST Government of India in 2013 and I'm the recipient of the Prozan Award from IEEE Comms of Bangalore chapter in 2021. I've published over 90 peer-reviewed articles, multiple book chapters and a book in 2018. This means that I have the experience of publishing peer-reviewed articles. In this video, I'll provide the steps to be taken before writing an article and the manner in which an article must be built effectively. We start off by deciding which manuscript type is the most appropriate. This could include a conference article, which is excellent to disseminate early or in-progress research findings and is a good way to start a research career. You could also have a full or research article, which is the standard to disseminate completed research findings and is a good way to build a research career. There could also be a review, survey or prospective article which is a critical synthesis of a specific research topic and is a good way to consolidate a research paper. In my experience, a review or a survey article with state-of-art topic receives higher citations compared to any other article. Before writing the article, it is important to look at important measures. These include the impact factor of an academic journal, which reflects the average number of citations to recent articles published in that journal. In general, journals with higher impact factors are deemed to be more important compared to those with lower impact factors. For a researcher, the I-10 index is very important as it indicates the number of academic publications an author has written which have received at least 10 citations from others. You could also have the H index which grows as the citations accumulate and is thus dependent on the academic age of the researcher. Indexing of a journal is very important and these could include SCI, SCI, E, Scopus, Web of Science, Proceedings of the Royal Society, etc. You could also have IEEE transactions, IEEE journals, IED, Springer, Elsevier, so on so forth. In regard to scientific language, the author is solely responsible to use proper language prior to the submission. Full copy editing is actually done by the journals only upon the acceptance of the article. In general, one must save the editor and reviewers the trouble to guess what the author implies. Common mistakes which occur, and we must be alert to these common errors. These include sentence construction, incorrect tenses, inaccurate grammar, and mixing of the languages. Direct and short sentences must be used. In general, one could use one idea or a piece of information per sentence and avoid complicated statements. Overall, be simple, not simplistic. Being fancy is absolutely not required. Also, write with brevity, not verbosity. Therefore, a structure of an article looks like this. You could have the title, abstract, and keywords, and these should be easy for indexing and searching. Must be informative, attractive, and effective. The next part includes the main text, which includes introduction, methods, results, and discussion. Remember, journal space is precious. Therefore, one must be as brief as possible. Lastly, you, could, you will have the conclusion, acknowledgement if required, references and supporting materials. Now let's look at each of them in detail. In regard to the title, attract the reader's attention, be as specific as possible, keep it informative and concise. In regard to the abstract, remember that this is an advertisement of the article. Therefore, be clear, keep it short and effective and generate curiosity. I would say the first sentences of the abstract should focus on what the study is about and the last sentences must include the major finding so that it is easy to read and understand. Then include the keywords which are basically the labels of the manuscript. Use only established abbreviations. Then comes the introduction. Here clearly address what the problem is. Are there any existing solutions? Which solution is the best? And what are the main limitations? Here also mention the novelty of the article. Then comes the assumptions and methods. Include detailed information. Do not describe previously published procedures. Identify all the equipment or simulation software which is used in the study. Then comes the result. Here mention what you have found. Present the most essential or primary results. You could use subheadings, graphs, tables, photos as applicable. This is followed by the discussion. 
In my experience, I have seen that most of the authors only mention the results and they do not discuss those results. With discussion, we imply what is the inference from the results. Therefore, you can see on the diagram, you could have good accuracy but poor precision. Also, you could have poor accuracy and good precision, but what we require is good accuracy with good precision. Therefore, always discuss the results. Make the discussion correspond to the result. You may also need to compare these with the published results. Then comes the conclusion. Here mention how the current work advances the field from the pre present state of knowledge. This should be very clearly written. Justify your work in the scientific field. You can also suggest future experiments and future scope of the study. Then comes acknowledgement if applicable. Here you could acknowledge the advisors, any funding agency which have sponsored your research. Lastly, the references which are very important. Here, do remember not to use too many references, avoid excessive self-citations, also avoid excessive citations of publications from the same region and conform strictly to what the journal or the conference requires. Lastly, always try to improve your research impact, therefore share preprints, ensure that the article's title, abstract and conclusion is very clear as these are read first. Never compromise on the quality, always aim high. Of course, you need to believe that your research is quality, only then others would believe. Also, collaborate and always share your research. Happy researching.